so much, Adam. Okay, so the return of summer is bringing with it the return of something else. We're talking white this morning. People will be wearing the color head to toe through the warmer months, especially for special occasions, graduation parties, Memorial Day, and of course, Mother's Day. That's coming up, right? Here with a look at how you can pull off the white on white style. Travis Robinson and Deborah Sherman. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for thank having you. us. I'm absolutely intrigued by this. I didn't know you could do white on white. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, yeah it, it looks good. really good on some of these uh, mannequins here. Let's yeah. get right into it. What do you uh, tell people to do when you do white on white? Do you break it up with another color? Yes, definitely do statement necklaces. Okay. Have lots of pops of color, heels, dress it up with heels. Wedges are popular as well. Just break up the white. Um, there's different tones of um, white as well. We have ecru all the way up to dove, so you can just don't mix them together. together. Don't mix the two whites together. Yes. That's key. Huh? Don't mix the different shades at all. Oh, that's interesting. I never even really thought about that. But yeah, that kind of look weird, right? It it's, would. It would. It's like when you have two different blacks. Definitely. I think that does not work well. Faded. Yeah, exactly. That's true. So <laughs> let's start with this. You brought something from Ann Taylor today. Um, it's pretty white on white with a black belt. Yes. Yeah, so there's an Ann Taylor at? dress over there, and Travis can tell you a little bit more about that one. Yeah, just an Ann Taylor dress. Uh, it's split up with a black belt, and you mm -hmm. can wear it with any any sort of jewelry to to help get that look a little more trendy. And then next we have White House Black Market, and uh, the first outfit's a casual look. It's a pleated neckline top and a soft drape short. So. That's a really good look for. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah with a gold belt, and, and the necklace is actually something I like to talk about. There, they, right now, they're sponsoring a uh, a little boy. Miles is his name. He's six years old, and he has pre B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So White House Black Market does a big charity where they uh, accept donations, but they also sell some of their pieces, and half of the proceeds go to. Okay. Uh, Funding him, so that necklace up there is, is one of those pieces. It's a thirty-dollar necklace. We're gonna get to that necklace right now. Can you get that necklace right there? The yeah. it's the one that has the the peach the and I guess green. Oh no, no it's the three. three. It, it's with the shorts and the gold belt. Oh, okay, okay, we got it. Yeah. The shorts with the gold yeah. belt. Okay. And they have a fundraiser also coming up on on May twenty-first on Thursday. If you're a hospital employee, you can go in get ten percent off, and your proceeds and things that you donate there will go towards. Uh, Towards miles. So. Oh, that's super cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, so we were noticing. Yeah, you said the white shorts with the white top and a gold belt. That it really does look like it's pulled together. I honestly would never have thrown that together because I just don't know if I'm that trendy. But it looks really good. Um, do you suggest something like that as well? Of course, it's elegant. It's clean. You can wear it out to the graduation. I mean, our Mother's Day is coming right up. You can wear mm -hmm. those at the events. We also have Memorial Day, which is another event. So you definitely want to dress it up. So what are the rules when it comes to when you can start wearing white? Do, do we just throw those rules out and we don't care anymore? Don't worry about the rules. Um, <laughs> if you look good in it, it's going to work. So That's true. just wear it. Just be comfortable. That's absolutely true. And I notice we have this other long dress here and it has also a white belt. Yes. Yeah, so that's our gown from Dillard's. It's a Belle Bagley Mishka gown and you can dress it up with different accessories. You can wear it mom's night out events, graduation parties and Memorial Day parties as well. Just add like red or blue to it. Okay, yeah. okay. And I noticed really that entire outfit is all white, yeah. but it breaks up with the belt. It's still white, but it has a different pattern. It does. And then the, the top looks really loose compared to the skirt. Yes. So does that help so you kind of just don't get washed out wearing all white? Yes, the cowl neck definitely helps out. It um, adds a little bit more dimension to it. And if you want to make it pop, you can add a different color to the statement necklace with the, ne the nice cowl neck. You can okay. definitely do like a Shorter statement necklace and it okay. makes it beautiful. Shoes. What do you wear when it comes to shoes when you're wearing all white? Yeah, so um, pumps are gray. I mean, open toes, wedges, as well as gladiator shoes. Okay. Um, different colors. Like with this gown, I definitely do like a gold gladiator flat. Okay. And that way it just pops when you're walking. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks really neat. I really do like what you guys brought here. Now, you also said we can mix another color. So we have yes. another. Uh, mannequin here that has more of a, a colored blazer, I yes. guess, if so you will. This one is from Christopher and Banks inside Cottonwood Mall. And what it is, is me being myself, I am accident prone. So if I wear all white, I'm definitely going to spill. So with that one, you can, you know, hide it, your little spills. It adds a little bit of color so That's you're not true. all white. So if you're not used to wearing all white, it's a good start just to get you into it and wean you into it. That's true. That's a good key. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. When, when have you ever been wearing white and you're thinking this is not going to end well, right? Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, where can we find these uh, styles? So these different styles, we have Christopher and Banks and Dillard's inside Cottonwood Mall, and then we also have Ann Taylor, White House Black Market, and 
Francesca is actually in ABQ Uptown. Okay. I want to thank both of you guys for joining us today. Yeah. Great tips. White is, is back in, so do it. it. Try it out. We'll Definitely. be right back.